Okay, let's go find a bear cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those claws. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, that's not rain. It's pee. And it smells just like popcorn. Oh my gosh. Over the years, Brave Wilderness has shown you some pretty strange oddities of the animal world. We've seen tiny anteaters, worms that bite, worms that aren't even worms at all. How about those giant salamanders? And we've even shown you frogs with transparent skin. But the one I'm going to show you today is both bizarre in appearance and has one of the weirdest traits I've ever heard of or should I say smelled of. Get your popcorn ready. This one is unbelievable. What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins and welcome back for another adventure here at the Wildlife HQ in Sunshine Coast, Australia. And we're here again today with Sue. And Sue, I see you have some bananas that we're going to use to feature our next guest. Yes, this is his favorite food, but most people have probably never heard of his species before. Okay, and what is his species? So they're known as a binturong, um, or their common name is a bear cat, but Ooh. they're not a bear and they're not a cat. Okay, cool. I like the name bear cat. That's already piqued my interest right there. I'm gonna use a GoPro to try to see how close I can actually get, but you feel good about this? Yes, let's go. Okay, let's go find a bear cat. <laughs> To encounter a bear cat in the wild is extremely rare, as they have become vulnerable and even endangered in much of their natural range in Southeast Asia. This is unfortunately due to poaching and habitat loss. Looks like Sari has caught wind of the bananas. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here. He's having a big stretch. Come Are on. bear cats traditionally a nocturnal species? Mostly nocturnal, so not strictly, but mostly. Okay. This bear cat reminds me of a wolverine. And the wolverine we've worked with in Alaska was not nearly this calm. So I'm hoping that Sari stays in this demeanor for the entirety of this episode. He's actually a gentle giant. Okay, good. They definitely look a little bit intimidating, I will say. Look at those claws. Check out that big tail. His tail is actually fully prehensile and he can suspend his whole weight by the very tip of his tail. Hey, sorry. Hi. Look at that. Yum. Yum. Oh, yeah. How's that? That's just how, ooh. Ugh. That's how I eat a banana. You are slobbering all over me. But thank you for coming down to hang out. You are very interesting. Oh, look at that claw. Look at, what's another bite? Oh, my goodness. So, I'm able to get a good look at these claws, and they are razor sharp, no doubt, for climbing trees but the pads are almost like a bear. I could definitely see why they get the name Bearcat. Not only are they absolutely covered in this fluffy mane, but also their claws and pads are just like a black bear. Look at you, hi, how's it going? And you can see the, the cat comes from the whiskers. So to clear things up, let's talk about this name Bearcat. While possessing bear-like feet and cat-like whiskers, a binturong is not related to a bear or a cat. In fact, its family, Viveridae, contains many other unusual small to medium-sized mammals, like the civet. But this omnivorous bear cat is the largest, and although it looks an awful lot like a wolverine or a badger, it's not closely related to them either. Now, how old will a bear cat live? Uh, so up to about 25 years. Okay, and how old is, sorry if you don't uh, mind me asking, is that rude? Is that rude? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't mind. Uh, he's about 11 years old. Okay, so the, the coloration, whoa, whoa, whoa. You see, we got a little bit more left. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So the, the coloration in the fur, that has nothing to do with age? It doesn't, no. And they can vary in color depending on what region they're found. Uh, so they can be really gray right through to the black. Very cool. Now, while the hair does keep the bear cat warm, it also doubles as a natural raincoat, keeping the saboreal species dry up in the treetops. All right, we've got one last little piece, sorry. This is gonna be it, this is the outro, you ready? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with this bear cat as much as I did today. Thank you, Sue, so much. If you guys are ever in the Sunshine Coast of Australia, say hello to our friend, the bear cat, sorry. You won't be disappointed. 
I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right. See you, sorry. Hey, just quiet, real quick. Hey, guys. Uh, we're about to leave, and then I saw this. That's not rain. It's pee. And it smells just like popcorn. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, all around us. <laughs> I cannot believe that. If you told me, hey, somebody's got a fresh bag of popcorn ready, I would believe you right now. Holy smokes. All right. Banana drop. I'm out. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine feeding a bear cat. And who knew they liked bananas so much? But boy, the shocker of the century had to be this animal's unique and oddly familiar scent. While bear cats always smell subtly like corn chips because of their musk, their pee smells just like buttered popcorn. Not kind of like it, or somewhat like it, we're talking exactly like it. And this is due to the chemical compound in their urine known as 2-acetyl-1-pyrrolene, which is the same chemical compound created in the popcorn popping process when sugars and amino acids interact at high temperatures. Honestly, before today, if you were to tell me any animal's urine would smell exactly like my favorite snack food, my answer would be no way. But it does. Let's just say going to the movies will never be the same. Huge thanks goes out to Australia's Wildlife HQ. We love the HQ because they are a small family-owned wildlife park run by passionate conservationists who aid in important efforts, including the Queensland Koala Crusaders, a group in particular need at the moment as a result from the fires. Their support for conserving wildlife means that by paying a visit, you can both have the rare opportunity to get up close with some incredible creatures and conserve them all at the same time. And let me know if you do stop by by tagging me on Instagram at RealMarkVince. I do respond to comments and would love to hear from you directly. Hey, did you hear you can officially become a member of the Brave Crew? By joining our team, you can gain access to exclusive videos, behind the scenes photos, and members only discounts for our new Brave Wilderness official gear. Click the join button on the channel homepage and open up a new world of adventure by becoming Brave Crew official. There's also a link in the description below. What are you waiting for? Join the crew today.